you are upset because your first attempt of bitsat did not go as well as you, you thought it would but in second attempt you are going to ace it because i'm going to tell you some very very important things that you need to follow before your second attempt which is going to really really boost up your score so let's just get started if you're new here my name is hari and i have 314 bitsat of 2019 and today we're going to discuss about some of the important topics that you, that came from the first attempt of bitsat and some of the easy topics that you can score in before your second attempt of bitsat and by knowing these two you will be get you know very very good understanding of where you need to put your focus on when where you need to improve before you get into bitsat and to be honest there is no hard and fast rule that the questions and the topics and the weightages we given the first attempt is going to be same as second attempt but after talking to several people who have written the previous years in 2023 and 2022 it they said that it is kind of similar so it is very important to understand the first shift paper so that you can improve your second shift as well So let's just started with physics, right? So in physics, some of the easy topics where a lot of questions came was units and dimensions. There were a lot of questions, and at the same time, there were easy chapters like work energy, power, and conservation of momentum, where at least two two questions came. So that's already six questions. And at the same time, several people said that in modern physics, there were close to five six questions. And modern physics is one of those chapters that if you study modern physics and physics. then you will be able to do some of the questions like atomic structure in chemistry also so do not skip modern physics and at the same time work on work on thermodynamics as well because a lot of questions came from thermodynamics at least three four questions thermodynamics is one of the harder chapters but at the same time if you put your focus over there trust me even there physics may be come aayega or chemistry may be come aayega so do not skip thermodynamics and another two easy areas in physics are the different mechanical properties of solids which is the young's model is what is stress what is strain and based on this you'll get direct formula based questions and at the same time even in ray optics there were a lot of easy questions asked by using the lens makers formula and other easy formulas that you can directly apply and get marks so trust me if you do at least these six seven chapters you you will at least get like 25 20 25 questions from there and we've tried to consolidate the data from different papers and across different sessions so it might be true that in your session you do not get this part but this is a very very it's a common observation that we found out and even in electricity magnetism there were people saying that they got 8 to 10 questions from the different chapters in electricity magnetism and some of them were related to point charges some of them were related to ami ac and some of them had at least one two questions in electrostatics and given that there was a distribution across mechanics electricity magnetism and modern physics so do not miss out on these three sections of the physics because like from these three sections there's a majority of it more than at least 50 60% of the questions are coming from here i know that these are very broad topics so even in these broad topics try to at least cover the easier ones because that is the weightage given to them also like right? unit energy maintenance is easy and kinematics is easy work energy power conservation momentum these are like easier chapters so let's go down to chemistry now so chemistry the funny part was organic was got very 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 less weightage and only like five six questions the maximum eight questions came in every session and generally a lot of weightage is given to inorganic chemistry and physical chemistry and in inorganic chemistry there was a lot of weightage given to p block elements s block elements and understanding various concepts in p, p block elements some of them were related to the reaction of these elements with oxygen there were some questions related to, to asking about the preparation of various compounds in these groups and at the same time people there were questions asking about the oxy acids of sulfur and questions came with the trends of bond strengths of hydrides and about the reducing ability of group 16 coordination compounds and chemical bonding are a common find in all the papers but they didn't really get a lot of weightage they got only like one two questions or maybe like three four questions at max there weren't a huge number of questions asked from the coordination compounds and chemical bonding but at the same time it's important to know different things important understand what the weak field like and what the strong field like and, and how do you find the high spin find the low spin uh, and finding the hybridization and finding shapes out of it and if you do that you can at least get 10 marks very easily so do not miss out on that i would say because uh, it's not something which is a huge weightage at least according to 2024 papers but still it is a common find across the papers and at the same time related to chapters like environmental chemistry and polymers by molecules these things came only in few papers it was not seen in all the papers but at the same time these things are easier and it will take you maximum one day to understand and read the ncert textbook in all these chapters so do not miss out on that as well and physical chemistry the chemical kinetics is very common find there were a lot of questions asking about the order of reaction asking with the arrhenius equation 
and at the same time there were tougher questions in ionic equilibrium as well so if you're someone who's preparing to get a very very good score about 300 plus 330 plus you should go with preparation of ionic equilibrium at the same time there are easier chapters that you need to focus on which are related to liquid solution using the Raoult's law find the answer and at the same time there were easier easier topics like atomic structure and basic questions of thermodynamics that you can answer if you have a decent amount of preparation so do not miss out on these chapter guys because by knowing this you can at least hit like 10 at least 10 questions and that will really boost your score a lot and if you haven't prepared enough for physical chemistry do check out the Anarin Tavasti book this is not a sponsorship or anything but I think it is one of the really really books good books which really helped me a lot while I was preparing at the same time several other students did the level one of uh, the Narendra Avasti book and it really helped them a lot as well. Let us come down to the most dangerous section which is somewhat the people really really are really scared of in general and at the same time it is one of the most critical sections in the Pitsat which is mathematics. Like, and in maths we found that there are three very important chapters which really got a lot of weightage. The first one was limits continuity differentiability, the second one was AOD and the third one was differential equation so many people were saying that all these three chapters put together they were close to 10 to 12 questions which is like these are the later parts of calculus which are not very integration heavy but they are slightly on the easier side even then people were able to these are very scoring areas in calculus that you can really capitalize a lot to your advantage at the same time do go out and check different definite integration as well because this is also a very very important chapter for you guys if you're preparing for some the second attempt of bitsat if you're someone who is really struggling with mathematics, I'm going to tell you two, three very easy chapters that you can follow and get a really good score. The first one is vectors and 3D geometry because vectors and 3D geometry, the questions are really, really straightforward. Angle between plane, angle between lines, find the different, different common questions which had direction cosines and find the triple product and scalar triple product, vector triple product. So these are very straightforward questions that you should not miss out on. And even in coordinate geometry, to my surprise, there were a lot of questions which came from straight lines. And at the same time, questions came from circles as well, which are not very, very difficult. If you're someone who's really, really targeting a really good score, do check out the easier parts of Sangeet. I'm not asking you to buy a new book or read a new book or start a new book from scratch. But if you really need to understand the theory and you don't, you feel like you've not studied coordinate geometry anywhere before and you need to understand from the basics, I think Sangeet is a really, really good book. But don't go about solving the really tough questions because Sangeet is a book which is meant for JE Advanced. But if you're someone who's trying to solve problems and if you're trying to go about solving problems in quantum geometry, then do check out your coaching modules and at the same time do check out the Arihan Bitsat guide as well because they have a decent amount of questions that you can solve and actually get a mastery over the concepts. And last but not the least, let us come down to the algebra section. There were questions which came from permutation, combination, probability, close to five questions combining these two chapters. But these are on the tougher side. If you've not studied them now, then do save it for the later end and at the same time do focus more on the easier chapters like vector cd and straight lines and coordinate geometry and at the same time there were easier sections in uh, complex numbers and binomial theorem which were asked finding the cube root of unity using the cube root of unity and understanding the fact that i square is equal to minus one and manipulating on that and finding the nth term given a binomial theorem like 3x minus 1 by x the whole bar 7 like these kind of questions came a lot at the same time in logical reasoning, the paper came out to be slightly tougher. The only reason why this came out to be slightly tougher than usual, it's to make students suffer, right? I mean, that's the only reason. Because generally, logical reasoning is not this tough, but many people were saying that logical reasoning really made them, it really squeezed the time away. And many people who attempted the logical reasoning in the first, they lost a lot of time and they lost a lot of confidence. Which is exactly why I told them like do prepare by doing mocks. You'll understand which is tough, which is easy, and how you actually go about attempting a paper. And if you go and try to do the tough question the first one hour, you're not just reducing your score, you are actually stunting the total number of questions that you can do in the three hours as well. So this is exactly why you need to practice mocks and the best possible mocks available out there, which is most relevant to Bitsat, are the Bitsat busted mocks. So do check out the Bitsat Busted Mocks. We have an amazing community where you can ask doubts, ask questions, talk to mentors who've gotten great scores in Bitsat. At the same time, we have live sessions as well. We'll be adding bonus sections into the paper as well, which is going to be very, very useful for you in the last 25 days of preparation. 
and if you're someone who's really really preparing really hard for lr do check out these type of questions specifically because the alphanumerical pattern questions are important finding the paper folding pattern is important and finding the next pattern given some x number of patterns these questions are also kind of important right and what remains blood relation these are very common questions asked and if you really need feel the need to go above and beyond then you need to go and see find the ntsc pyqs and some other adhyant bitsad guide uh, logical reasoning question so that you can practice and brush up more on that and english in general was very easy if you someone who has done at least 10th standard 11th standard english you should be able to do well finding the incorrect part of the sentence given the comprehension find the answer these questions are straight forward and you should be able to do them but the most important thing is to understand how well you can do in the examination environment and the only way to do that is by practicing mock tests because agar tum log mock mock test nahi kiya to then you will just think that i am going to get this much marks and you are going to absolutely screw up in the actual paper and doing relevant mocks is very important and many people were saying the level of questions in certain mocks was significantly lesser as compared to the actual bitsat level that kind of damages their expectation and makes them very very scared when they actually go to the bitsat exam so this is exactly why we have bitsat bus it for you guys so do check it out and i'll see you in the community guys and until then bye bye